Okay, guys, so we're going to create a post or some of the one you see in the background here. You're going to need to go get a famous quote and also look at trying to find two fonts that uh, work well together so you can have two different fonts. So here your size is 11 by 8.5, and since we're possibly going to print this, 300 dpi. So I'm going to give this a name, poster typography, and I'm going to click OK. So you're going to see that it's going to have a white background. So the first thing you want to do is change that to black. So we're going to click Option Delete. Uh, so one thing, if press the D key and it'll make this the default where the black is on the front. So Option Delete. So here's your black. Now we're going to need to go, I've already picked my two fonts, so you're going to have to make a decision and look through all the fonts in Photoshop before. So how will you do that? You click on T and you can uh, we'll wait till one shows up. Let's make this bigger. Um, we're going to go with a brush grip. Uh, I've researched and I really thought the brush grip looked really cool. So it's black. So what I need to do is change it to white. So how do I do it? Clicked up here, clicked in the corner here, click OK. So you have to highlight it, which is kind of annoying. Let's do that. So there you go. Oops, it's a website, so I'm going to go get my font um, over here. So I'm going to copy this here, and then I'm going to bring this in here. And I'm going to make sure it's white right now. It is. It came in black. Highlight it. Go to white. And let's... So there it is. So I'm going to click enter. So we'll just correct here. There's a period. I want to make sure this looks appropriate. You have to press enter. So that's your first text layer. So what you're going to do now is you're going to click on the selection tool, click your next text layer, and you're going to get the person's name. So just be careful. See, it's adding it to this layer. I don't want that. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to click text. I'm going to click somewhere else. And what was the name of this guy again? The quote, you have to have the person's name, it's David Allen. So we're going to go back here. So I'm going to type again, it should be white. If it's not, click up here, white. David, and I don't want that font. So what I'm going to do is go and pick Comics, Comic Sans. I'll go with this one in caps. David, wow. I'm going to go all caps, it'll look nicer, David, Allen. okay, we're going to be happy with that, so what I'm going to do is click this and bring it down here, maybe I even want to, if I need to type on it again, I need to press the type tool, and press it, a little hyphen, and the hyphen is currently black, so let's go in here, white, Okay, I'll delete that. I'm going to go and say that I'm happy with that. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is uh, rasterize these two types. So we, how do we do that? Well, before, so click, and then put your finger on the shift key. I like both of them. So we're actually going to uh, rasterize them. So now they're no longer type. We can't change anything. So if you need to change something in the spelling, you got to do it before. And now what we're going to do is right click and we're going to merge these layers so they're, they're all one. All right. And our next step will be to add some uh, a gradient to this. So to do that, you're going to control and click, select the whole font. So a command on the Mac, control on the PC, and click over here will highlight this. Then what you do is you come grab your gradient tool, pick a color. Uh, you should have learned how to make a gradient. I'm going to just go with this for now. It's pretty nice. And you can drag it across so it adds it right in there. So you see these marching ants. To disable them, you click Command D, and it turns them off. Um, I, just, I just noticed that there's a spelling mistake here, but... 
you know, I'm just going to leave it just so we can get the tutorial done so you can actually get going on the work. So uh, the next step is you want to click Command J to duplicate your layer. Now, if you don't remember all these hotkeys, you can go here and there should be a duplicate layer button in here. It's not in here. So Command J. We're just going to, so we got the extra layer. We need the extra layer, so we're going to click Create down here. You'll see there's a button that allows you to create an extra layer. What we're going to do is we're going to go to Filter, and we're going to create a Render Cloud. So we're going to create a Cloud Layer. And what we're going to do is we're going to blend this. So blending modes are ways to blend with a, a layer beneath. And we're going to go with uh, Color Burn. So there it is. Um, you could experiment with different ones of the, these so you get a different result. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select the photo that's duplicated. And we're going to go and add another filter to that called Gaussian Blur. Now, so blur, Gaussian blur, and um, just a quick OK. I'm going to just change something here because I added the wrong blending mode. I want a color dodge, actually. There it is. So that was, uh, you'll go back here and set a color burn, color dodge. And here you go, you have your final poster. If you have any questions, please let me know.